Okay, so let's have a look at setting up a demo project and looking at uh, dev and main branches and how we would like to deal with um, pull requests and code reviews and merge conflicts. So we're just going to create the project. It's a private project. It should create a default repo. So I'll just give it a moment. Okay, so once the project is created, we just want to add the team lead to this project. So we can go to the project settings. And when we're in this overview, we'll see this Cornell is the project administrator. We just want to add another one. So team lead. Add. Okie dokie. And I am team lead here. I'm logged in and I can see the demo project and I can see all the repos. Now that's what you want to be able to see with all the users when you start a project. So what we're going to be doing next is just pulling the, uh, the repo. So let's just go back to the demo project. We can go to the repos and I'm just going to add a initialization readme to this project in the main uh, branch. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to go back and it will be under permissions, if I'm not mistaken, or let's just quickly have a look, repositories. Yes, it's here settings, policies. Okay. And then what you're going to be seeing here is there'll be branch policies here. Uh, let's just look at this policies. Ah, there we go. So we're going to be in the demo project in the main repo. And when we click on it, we want to have a minimum number of reviewers and we're just going to set this depending on the team structure uh, i'm just going to have two developers in this demo but for the moment i'll be able to approve my own changes but i'll also need the team lead to approve the changes okay so that's basically that for the setup uh, in the next section we'll just have a look at pulling the um, the branch branches into two folders on my local one folder will be where the team leads logged in and one folder will be where the developer or Cornell is logged in and then we'll do some changes and see how that would work okay so just to kind of uh, demonstrate how this would work um, so we've got a branch policy set up I'm going to be going back to the demo project and what I would like to do is go to the repos and get a clone link for this. And then I've just chosen to create a folder called Azure DevOps. So I'm just going to open a command prompt here. Okay, so what I've done is just cloned the project twice. Um, one with a Cornell user and one with a team lead user. So if I go in here, what I will see is get branch minus A. So I'll see there's a main branch. Um, what I can do is just to demonstrate that I can't just push into this main branch without doing a pull request. So we're going to attempt to do that now. So we're just going to add a file config.json. And it's very simple. I'm just going to have a name field. And I'll call it Cornell. I'll save it. And this is my Cornell version of it. If I do a get a dot, it'll add it. Get commit minus m uh, added project config file. And if I do a push, it should tell me that I can't do that. So I'm not permitted to push. You must use a pull request. So that's precisely what we wanted to see here. So we just do a get branch just to check where we are again. And we can do a get uh, 
reset hard and then I can do a get branch and I'll create a dev Cornell branch so get check out dev Cornell and get branch just to see that I am in Cornell and I can still have my code change there and I can just do a get a dot get commit minus m um, added project config file and then I can do a get push it'll probably tell me that I need to link it to the dev branch on the server and what will happen then is if I am logged in as Cornell, I can go look at my branches in this project. I'll see there's a dev Cornell. Um, I should see my change there. That's my config.json that I created. And I can go to pull request in Azure DevOps, a new pull request. I want to go dev Cornell into main. That message is fine. And I'm going to do a create. What I'm going to do straight away is just go to the pull requests and I'm just going to approve my pull request but it needs two people to approve it so now I'm logged in as team lead on this tab I can go to pull requests I can see there's one there and of course I want to look at the files I can approve it and I can complete it and what will then happen is if I look at the branches and I look at the main branch, that config file is being pulled in with that change. There's no merge conflicts at the moment, so let's simulate how a merge conflict would work. So the next step is I'm going to go to, let's just go to the Cornell branch, um, get branch minus A, okay. And what I'd like to do is just log into the team lead part of the project. And we will just open both windows here. So we have them side by side, get branch minus A. I am in the main branch here. I can get, do a git pull, great stuff. And I'm going to go uh, get, okay, so let's leave this one uh, as is. I'm in the dev branch here. What the team lead's going to do, so if I do a dir, I should see that config file there, get branch minus A. I see the main branch. I also see there's a dev core now. I'm going to do a get branch, branch. Uh, dev team lead just to simulate this get check out dev team lead okay so then if I go into Visual Studio Code here I will look at the config.json file I'm gonna make some changes I'm gonna put a surname and I'm going to put it as my surname. What I am going to do is uh, just add a change, or we can just say change one in here to the name. So it's going to change the name field in the surname. I'm going to save it. So we're back in the team lead. Uh, Always make sure that you're in the correct branch. I'm in the dev team lead branch. I can do a get add. I shouldn't be able to uh, get commit minus m team lead config update. And then I can do a get push. It will want me to just link it to the origin and once it's there great stuff so 
What team lead then will do is team lead will go to the branches. We'll just say there's a dev team lead. I'm going to create a pull request. So a new pull request. The team lead's going to create the pull request. He also gets checked. So dev team lead into main, team lead config update create. And I'm going to immediately just approve my own. So let's just make sure that I'm in the right thing. Team lead. Approve. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back to this side of the world. So I still have my original there. I'm going to do uh, a double Cornell because I just wanted to change it. And superhero, my favorite superhero is Hulk indestructible hulk okay so we're going to save it we're going to go back to the cornell branch uh, get at what well, let's just see get branch minus a i've got cornell dev there i'm just going to make sure that there's nothing outstanding and i'm going to do a get commit minus m cornell config update with Hulk with superhero setting. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a get push. Great stuff. Now, if I am logged in as Cornell, I am going to click on pull requests. I'm going to create a new pull request. I'm going to go from there to there. I'm going to create it. And then what we should be seeing here is that there should be two or theme leaders already uh, approved his own change here. I'm just going to do the same here to an approve. And then what we'll be doing is a twofold process. So let's have a look. Um, I'm going to go and approve team leads. Uh, changes i know what the changes are he's added cornell change one and he's added a surname and i'm going to complete it and everything should be happy now vice versa team lead's going to come in and he's going to look at the pull requests he's going to see there's only one active one if we click on it it's going to be approved and let's just make sure it's approved here as well. So we're going to approve it. Okie dokie. Um, seems to be no. Oh, yes. So we're back in team lead. So team lead will just go and complete it. Now, what happened there? Oh, yes. So now, team lead has done the complete, and now they says there's a merge conflict. So, this is the original Canal Hulk. I'm just going to close it. We're going to be in the team lead section of the world. So, team lead is here. So, get branch minus A. So, now what I can do here is I can pull the dev Cornell or check it out. So get check out origin dev Cornell. Let's see. Okay, maybe I can just do get branch minus A. So now I'm in dev Cornell. Let's just make sure that we on the same page let's do a, a get pull Let me just give it a second okay so let's try the following get branch minus 
So get pool origin main. Let's just get the main version. And that's fine. Let's just have a look what we see here. Okay, because I pulled the main branch, I see that first change. And then hopefully we can also pull the dev Cornell and just see what happens when we pull that. Now it says there's a merge conflict. So I've got my merge conflict here. Uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, there's a couple of ways to deal with this, but let's just delete what we don't want. So the change I really do want is this Cornell Cornell change. I want the surname and I want superhero Hulk. That's the changes that I'm going to be happy with. And then I can do get uh, okay get branch minus a. So I'm definitely in Dave Cornell. And this is the point. I need to uh, commit the merge conflicts on Dave Cornell, and then we will see it in here that this little notice goes away. So let's do that. So get a dot, get commit minus m pull request merge conflict resolved and then I can just do a get push. Okay, so let's have a look. Aha, new changes were pushed. There's no conflicts and I can do a complete complete the merge and if I go to the branches I can look at the main branch I can look at the config and these are the changes that I want in there and we can see the history of what we've done there and this is how we would deal with uh, merge conflicts and uh, working with different branches with reviewers and how to set it up for a for a small team